here's how to level up your prototyping skills and get your printed circuit board to fit perfectly in your 3D printed housing. I rarely show anything that's a customer project. This one does happen to be from a customer from a long time ago, but we're not gonna ask what it is, okay? Let's just say it's shocking how well this prototype fit together. But we're gonna ditch the high voltage board for the rest of this video and do something completely unique and challenging. We're just gonna draw the circuit board in Autodesk Fusion, and I prefer to orient the board so that we're in the XY plane and the top of the board is Z positive. Let's make this a real pain in the butt. We'll do some sort of spline curve like that. I don't know, maybe it looks like a leech or something. And there's like a screw hole here and a screw hole here. And then you've got a housing that does like the exact same thing, right? Maybe that's your housing. So some sort of crazy housing, circuit board fits in there. You got two screw bosses with like plastite screws. Torx, of course, because I'm a Torx snob. And this is your PCB. We're gonna do this board in KiCad, and I promise you, you are not going to get this board designed by trying to type in numbers for this shape. You've got to export this as a DXF and import it into KiCad. Now that we've designed our leech, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the top surface of that board in Autodesk Fusion, we are going to make a sketch, we are going to grab all of the references of that board and we're going to save it as a DXF file. Now, I like to save my DXF files in metric, then we're going to switch over to KiCad, we're going to go to graphics and we're going to import graphics. Don't ask why it's under graphics, but they consider this DXF graphics. We're going to import it. This is critical. You're going to import on your edge cuts layer, edge cuts layer. Make sure that it is on the edge cuts layer. Otherwise you're gonna be right clicking on every little segment and putting it on the edge cuts layer. Edge cuts layer, slayer, slayer. <laughs> Anyway, in KiCad, nothing crazy, just like a 49-pin BGA codex, some passives. I poured a plane for the ground, and then I looked at it in the 3D viewer. You can see we have a nice-looking circuit board here. It wasn't this easy, though. You can't use splines. No splines. You have to use polylines. And then when you use polylines and you export that DXF from Fusion, what's going to happen here is sometimes Fusion will put like a complete line over top of the polylines. You have to go in and delete that out and save off yet another DXF that's nice and clean. You should be able to go into that DXF in Fusion, delete a line segment, and there should be nothing underneath it. Once you're there, you can export and call it like, you know, fixed or something like that. Give it a different name, import that one in the KiCad. Now we've got our leech. No, I'm not gonna order this thing. I just wanna show you guys a very difficult example of doing a tight PCB outline with a tight housing around it and how you can get that completed using Autodesk Fusion and KiCad. KiCad's free. Learn to use it. You got KiCad, and if you got 3D printer, and you can do some 3D modeling, you're virtually unstoppable. Start that business. Thanks for watching. Adios.